Hello everyone, I'm Oliver Hill. Before we delve into today's discussion, I'd like to greet you all and wish you good luck and success. If you find our content interesting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before we get started. Your support means a lot to us. Today we're going to explore an interesting topic regarding Meghan Markle's potential political ambitions and the impact of her royal title on her political career. Recently, there has been a lot of talk about whether Meghan Markle, the former actress and member of the British royal family, needs to let go of her Duchess of Sussex title if she intends to pursue a career in American politics, particularly in light of Governor Gavin Newsom's choice of LaFonza Butler over her for a political role. Governor Newsom's decision to select LaFonza Butler over Meghan Markle as a replacement for the late California Senator Dianne Feinstein has raised questions about the role of Meghan's royal connections in her political aspirations. Some argue that her royal title could be a hindrance rather than an asset in American politics. Professor Pauline McLaren, an expert in marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway, University of London, has shared her insights on this matter. According to Professor McLaren, Meghan Markle appears to be straddling two worlds, trying to maintain her royal identity while also pursuing a political career. She mentions that Meghan used her Duchess of Sussex title when advocating for parental leave, a move that some consider inappropriate for a political figure in the United States. Professor McLaren suggests that Meghan's use of her royal title may indicate a lack of clear direction in her political ambitions. It's important to note that despite Meghan and Prince Harry's criticisms of the monarchy, they continue to use their royal titles and their children also hold titles. This raises questions about the extent to which Meghan and Harry have distanced themselves from the royal institution. Interestingly, earlier this year, a poll suggested that Meghan Markle would be popular among Democrat voters if a woman were to run for president in 2024. She tied for first place with current Vice President Kamala Harris in the poll. This indicates that Meghan's popularity transcends her royal status and suggests that she may have a viable political future. Now let's analyze this situation from a neutral perspective. Meghan Markle's royal title undoubtedly carries a certain level of prestige and recognition, both in the United States and internationally. Her association with the British royal family has garnered significant media attention, and her advocacy work on various social issues has drawn further attention to her profile. On the other hand, the United States has a long history of republicanism and a rejection of titles and nobility, dating back to the American Revolution in the 1770s. In this context, some may argue that Meghan's use of her royal title and her political endeavors could be seen as out of touch with American values and principles. It's essential to consider the potential advantages and disadvantages of Meghan Markle maintaining her royal title. On one hand, her title may open doors and attract attention, as demonstrated by her popularity in the mentioned poll. On the other hand, it could also alienate some voters who view her royal connection as incompatible with American democratic ideals. As we conclude our discussion, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this matter. Do you believe Meghan Markle should continue to use her royal title as she explores a career in American politics, or do you think she should distance herself from it? How do you view the role of titles in modern politics, particularly in the United States? Please share your opinions in the comments below, and let's engage in a respectful and constructive conversation about this intriguing topic.